All right, everybody, Baron here. Welcome to Brass Brigade. Now, Brass Brigade came out yesterday. It's a third-person World War II action game. It reminds me of a mix of Ravenfield, Total Tank Simulator, and there's another game that I just can't play. So if this reminds you of anything, let me know. And obviously, like, if you were like, hey, Battlefield, yeah, you're right. And we even have Stalingrad. So I'm going to check out a few of these today. So let's go ahead and start with the biggest tank battle that ever was. Now, one thing to note is I think this is an early access. Oh, snap. We got to get in there. Now, who do I want to be? A shock trooper? I'm going to be a rocketeer. Whoa, Tavadish. I need me a T-34. These look like T-34-85s. Am I going to get one? Or are they all taken? So... I like the aesthetic of it, you know, kind of the low poly simple graphics. I'm wondering though, I feel like I've seen these graphics before. They may be like, look at, ooh. Okay, there's my machine gun. Can we zoom in a little bit? So we got T-34s and Russian infantry. It looks pretty scenic, right? Now I'm gonna proffer an idea here. And to you guys in the Baron's Brigade who are very familiar with the channel, the kind of content I like to make, the kind of content you guys enjoy watching. This is gonna come as no surprise when I tell you that I think it's fun that this is a third person game. But, but, what if it was a battle simulator? <laughs> oh, there's definitely shell drop, okay. Fire! <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're going up against some tiger tanks. Wait, is that a, is that a tiger or a Panzer IV? No, these look like, we're gonna have to get a little closer because I'm kind of stuck in between which one I think it is. But the tank combat is starting to kick off. That kind of looks like a tiger to me. <laughs> this is nuts. Tank combat does feel a little bit rough, but I'm gonna go up here and do my best to capture the farm. Now it looks like we got a repair zone here. I should just be able to hop out. So it's it's stuck on third person. We got, if I, pr I try to press E to get that, I don't know if it's automatic or not. But we can't go into first person. We can kind of do a little bit of zoom in. Now we get, what, plus 15 redeploys for taking this zone? Okay. Oh, hello, Tavadish with the PPSH. The poopsh. Oh, man, I remember Call of Duty 1, the original Call of Duty on PC. And I was just like, in, I was in love with the PPSH. Playing this map, it was a, I think it was called POW. You were playing in a prisoner of war, like, uh, camp camp. What's up? All right. There's the Panzer Shrek. Uh, it's funny. I'm a Russian, but I have a Panzer Shrek. I don't even have like a lend uh, American bazooka or anything. Excuse Do I? Oh, I have to reload manually. Okay. Cause I was like, you're so used to just waiting for reloads. All right. Reload. Now we got some reload animations. It looks like he put it in the side as opposed to in the back. Remember work in progress. Hold on. Do I have a, do I have a backup gun? Yes. Ooh, I got a little Bolt action? So there's a village over there that I could take, and you see some German infantry coming out. But what I've noticed about this game, check this out. Something that I would like to see fixed in the future is... Alright, look where my crosshairs are. There's no iron sighting, right? Hold on. Alright, we're gonna have to reload our mag real quick as Tovarish... Oh, whoa! Okay, hold on. Oh, they've got gas masks. This is some Wolfenstein stuff. Okay, so let's pick a commissar. We have got conscript. I'm gonna go just to show you. Now, I'm gonna spawn at the farm, which I guess is kind of close to the Germans. We're gonna get over here and do some target practice. So here's the thing, right? You expect when you're not moving, hold on, let's kneel down and see if it's any different. Ooh, that was more accurate. Now those shots are pretty good. Now if we get out of prone, we're gonna reload. All right, check this out. See, look at that. There's no way that bullet should go there. So there's just like some weird shooting stuff. All right, so battle Stalingrad. And by Stalingrad, I mean Kursk. Ooh, so you know I love me some amphibious landings. This one is in the Italian campaign. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be an officer. All right, so there's some, oh! Guys, he's up there, man. Got MG42s, they're throwing some potato smashers. I'm laying down some suppressive fire. It looks like I had a, a, an M3 grease gun, so I'm glad that my SMG... <laughs> my SMG is historically accurate to the Americans. So this is what it's like to be a German up here in the pillbox. I could be an automatic rifleman with a BAR. It takes a little bit of time to respawn. All this stuff is kind of um, customizable. It looks like we took what's called the casemate, which I guess this is called casemate, which makes sense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone called it an artillery strike. Is that a German? 
No, that's definitely an American. All right, but you can see now it says single player only. So once again, it's like Ravenfield will be single player and single player only forever. And it's like, I don't know. The developers just can't do multiplayer. They don't want to get outside help. They can't get outside help either way. Or they've just chosen. That sounded like an airstrike. Ow! What's up, boys? Oh, man. So I think we've got to go prone, but I've noticed that you're inaccurate no matter where you're aiming. Ooh, that was a P-51 Mustang. But if you're crouching or prone, you're going to be a little more accurate. All right, we'll pull back and reload, then peek over here. But I I'm, I'm starting to figure out how best to be effective on the battlefield. What's up, you Jerry scum? Oh, hold on. This is a BAR, we only got a, a magazine of 20 rounds. I need like a belt-fed MG, man. Look at these guys. Yeah, so that, that red smoke is like, it's hard to hit stuff at distance due to the just like, you just have to get in close to do damage at certain times. Ooh, here we go, support. Okay, so here are all the classes, right? So for the Americans, we got the M1 Garand, the Tommy Gun, a Bazooka, and an M1 Carbine for anti-tank. We got the BAR. Oh, and they have special abilities, so the officer can call in a bombing run? Well, let's deploy that, and we'll deploy at this. Look at this. It, it, this is kind of nice, how I have different deployment zones. This is pretty good. We'll start at the beach. Oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm spawn on top of it. But I love this. I wish we would have had a cool scene where we came in and hit the beaches and... You know, there's some Jerry's up there. All right, now if I press G, that's my grenade. But I think... Watch out for that frag grenade, j j You guys, I'm gonna slap you Patton style and, and report you for cowardice. What are you all doing back here? <laughs> this is not how we spread freedom around the world, gentlemen. This guy almost looks German-esque and he's me. Now, I think... Ooh, that guy looks pretty cool. So, you, you see why I'm starting to say, like, I wish this was a battle simulator? Whoa, 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 whoa! Who's that? All right, I think I called it an airstrike. See if a plane comes by? I hear it. All right, there we go. I put some smoke right on that house. We're calling it an airstrike P-51 style. Now, where does it materialize? Airstrike, come in. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. And if you look in the bottom right, you can see I have a grenade and it's just taking a little bit of time to get that airstrike back. So any officer class unit, whether they're my team, oh, or the enemies, frag out. Where is that guy? Oh, they're, they're coming up. I hope I got him with that. Spray and pray, gentlemen. Oh, snap. There's a tiger tank over there. I hope that's ours. Well, my life was cut short by a Jerry with a car. Bolt action rifle. All right, now I will call it an airstrike after I Tom Hanks this this tank. Let's try the support class. Now we're a little bit slower, which makes sense. You can see there's no collision models between the bodies. All right, here we're, we're crouched down. <laughs> we're using the German pillbox against them. I love it. And you're like, wait, Baron, I thought you said you were in Italy. Well, the Italians, while brave, they weren't very well equipped. They weren't really... At some point in the war, they're like, you know what, I don't really want to be involved with this. So the Germans went down there and occupied Italy and, and basically held that soft underbelly when the Allies were marching their way towards the Germans. I can't tell if this tiger is ours or the enemy's. Oh, whoa! Someone just... What the heck was that? All right, I don't know what I just did. I think I dropped ammunition on the ground? Oh, cool. So my special ability as this big boy MG guy Let's get into this other pillbox. Or casemate. Yeah, I think it's American. Even though it has the German cross on it, I'm only seeing it really aim at Germans. Now, we gotta get in here before we get popped. Oh, wait. The enemy is out of reinforcements. Okay, they had 200. So, I think at this point, we've won the day. Still shots going off. What are you, what are you doing looking at me with that bazooka there? Bill, you been eating too much of the canned spam? Did you get a bad dose? And then we can go on to Anzio Day 2. I'm gonna go back to the menu here. And I still am- I'm gonna save Omaha Beach for last, because it's gonna be the best one. Battle of the Bulge, like, almost- If you're familiar with World War II, you can probably name or recognize, like, half of these battles. So, I'll say that right now, the game is out, it's on sale for about seven bucks. It's in early access, so you never know if it's just gonna be a grab. By the, by the developer, 
or if they're really going to follow up with this. So let's see, do we want to do the supply depot or the rear line? I'm going to choose rear line, and I'm going to go with, let's go with a rifleman, a classic M1 Garand, and see if we get the ping. Now that's another thing. M1 Garand with the ping. It looks like we got some Sherman 76s here. So we'll get in one of those. Hold on, we got to do this. All right, ready? <laughs> it was subtle. It was subtle. Vehicle is currently occupied by another soldier. They're gonna have to put something in there. With as the player, you get you get uh, preference. So it doesn't look like there's any button to pull up a map or anything like that. A mini map feature. It's pretty self. Uh, it's straightforward though. You know where the objectives are. They, you can see them through objects, which I do appreciate for lack of a map. So this is a German Panzer Corps over there. Now remember, my accuracy is not gonna be very good. Hey, I got that guy though. Okay, we'll reload, move on to the next berm, and follow our boys into glorious conquest and battle. Seeking medals. Oh, what was that? A medal war? It's like, get ready for medals, boys. Oh, we're getting shot at by Jerry. All right, this is not a bad spot. That's right, dude. Oh, dude, an artillery strike. Okay, I wonder which class. I wonder if it's the German one. I haven't seen too many German um, planes flying around, right? Oh shoot, we found them all, man. Now I think my mouse is a little too sensitive, so one of the nice things at least is you can turn down the sensitivity if one's so inclined. I can also do it on my mouse. Oh, we gotta reload. Oh snap, man. I've been playing the B with the BAR, or excuse me, the uh, M1 Grand. Frag out. <laughs> Eat that. Boom, yes. And I've been loving the M1 Garand in, in the Battlefield 5, the new Pacific update. Oh, that guy, I, I couldn't tell what he was doing. Look at us get bum rush, but when we're this low, it's hard for them to hit us with accuracy, and we can hit him back. So I think this is clear that to be a, an effective guy in a Brass Brigade, you're going to want to go prone. 100%. We're doing pretty good. They can't even hit us. Now, they're, they're loving this trench. Oh, my God, I'm down to six bullets, guys. And I have no secondary. I have a grenade out. <laughs> Our days were numbered when we saw that many Germans in the trench. Luckily, my boys, as you can see here. Now, one thing that would be nice is a free cam. All right, well, let's go to the battles and let's try Omaha Beach. Now, I can choose to be the Germans, and I'm going to do that because one of the cool things, like if you've ever played any of the multitude of Omaha Beach or D-Days. Oh man, a Sturmgewehr 44? Bunker system or German defenses? Yeah, we definitely want the bunker system. So we'll spawn up here. Oh man, we'll crouch down a little bit. But yeah, it, this is the more affordable way, I think, to deal with um, not being laser accurate. Most games, you know, you have some kick on the gun. In this one, there's just this automatic, like, it doesn't even matter if you fire one shot. Way to study. Yeah, this is not necessarily ideal. Oh my god, my friends! What happened to you guys? But dude, if this was multiplayer and they had decent controls... Oh, I thought that was me standing up. We have a tiger on the beach! Alternative history. What if tigers were on the beach for World War II during D-Day? Well, <laughs> I think I think that is the case and we can finally answer that question. <laughs> but see, that's why I'd love like a battle simulator, a little more sandbox. Now, that's not to say it couldn't happen in the future, but with what we have right now, I mean, we can we can at least have that. There's a few things that I think would need to be fixed. But one of the things that I would encourage the developer, if they're going to continue on supporting this game, developing it, putting in more content, which I hope they do, that they would at least do kind of battle simulator mode, right? So as this tiger just wrecks everybody. And have it maybe dynamic, you know, if possible, where like the Higgins boats are hitting the beach, right? They're not just there and people aren't spawning, which is an easy way to do it. Or at least you have an introduction animation for the level. These are all things that like can come later, right? I'm gonna have my eye on this one, that's for sure. I love the aesthetic of it. I'm not sure if it's like a Unity asset or if it was developed by the developer. It looked kind of familiar. Oh my God, the Stuka bombing. It put a little friendly fire on the Tiger tank. What are you doing? Oh. That's sad. Look at that. It's the Germans. Now, if I wanted to redeploy, I think I, all I have to do is stand up. Shoot me! All right, I'm out of bullets, and I'm at 19 health. 
Yes, my body's ready. We're taken down by Private Jenkins down there. Heavy MG with the MG42. Oh, see, look, there's accuracy values. Okay. 78. Wow, so that was one of the reasonably more accurate guns? But none of them, the Car 98 has an accuracy value of 90. The lowest I'm seeing here is for the Heavy MG. The officer can call in a bombing run? I kind of want to do it. I want to call in a bombing run. Oh, you hear the Stuka? I, I may have... Yes! <laughs> okay, that's awesome. All right, I'm ready to go. Hey, Sprechen the Deutsch, Americana. He didn't Sprechen the Deutsch. Now, there's a little cooldown on the deploy. I'm pretty sure in the selection screen you got to choose. Yeah! All right, at least the MG42 fires super fast. We have a ton of ammunition. Let's do a little reload here. But since it's single player only, if there's no other, like, compelling modes and you're just left with kind of recreating these battles, I think after a few hours, you'll be done with it, right? There's not too much you can really do. It depends if they open up a Steam Workshop or mod support similar to what Ravenfield did, or if they have a free cam and you can kind of do battle simulator stuff. I think the more they go in the sandbox direction, or... The more they go in the battlefield direction, I, I don't know. If they're limited to single player, they gotta go in the battle simulator direction. Otherwise, get out of the way, Hans! Hans, what are you doing? This was my spot. Cheers, Hans. Hans, 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 Hans. How many times do I have to tell you? We don't have any weapons of mass destruction, as someone called it an artillery strike. Who is that? Wow, I stood up, immediately got blasted. There's something to be said when you're crouched or prone that the AI just... I don't know if they seem to see you. Okay. Strafing run? Bombing run. Oh, a mortar strike. I want to call in a strafing run. All right, strafing run here. Look at this, man. Americans running up our trenches. Mr. Commander Tom Hanks down there with his grease gun. Trying to save Pry Ryan. Naturally. Man. All right, so now we got to try it as the Americans. You know we do. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Damage multiplier. We can mess with that. You can do redeplies, like, oh, but all this is, is, uh, predetermined in a way. Or preset. You can modify it, but it's limited, right? Alright, well, let's go, officer. We're gonna do a bombing run. We got some Mark II grenades as well. This is gonna be absolute, just, oh, terribleness. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do my best. I'm sprinting. Got some MGs in the casemates, uh, or the pillboxes, as I like to call them. Let's get in this crater and go prone. And I'm gonna see if... If I'm aiming up there, I just called in the airstrike. All right, where is it? I think I heard it. There's the tiger. Should remember to bring in my bazooka. Oh! Whoa there, whoa the whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, okay. I think you have to point at the ground. Now look at that D-Day map. It looks beautiful. Someone just called in a Stuka. That's awesome. If we had the camera controls and we could almost like play God in a way, like call in airstrikes, call in reinforcements, paratroopers, gliders, amphibious landings, tanks, that sort of craziness. Be pretty cool. All right, so we're definitely doing poorly against the Germans. Germans have lost 44. We've already lost over 50%. You can tell it's not looking very good for us. We're going to deploy once more into the breach. We're just a regular old GI with an M1 Garand, I'm pretty sure. Take that guy out. Excellent shooting. Got some dudes back there. Very hard to hit, especially with, what, my 9.0 accuracy, assuming I'm prone. Trying to reload here. Flank up the right side. <laughs> I don't even know what left and right is right now. More vehicles, more static defenses, more options, man. More sandbox. All right, we'll take it out the machine gunners. I think that guy might still be alive. I can't tell. Is he sleeping and throwing up back there? Oh, that guy did. Yeah, but see, like, since I'm prone... Oh, never mind. There goes my theory. So I think if you want to beat this as the Americans, you got to get up on this hill. Oh! Not get sniped. Take them all out. All right, get ready to die. They're going to laser on me. I know it, man. AI. That's the, the thing about AI. Is they can be a little bit predictable. Oh! Anyway, guys. This has been Brass Brigade. I think it needs some work. It's got some promise. Like, look at that little guy. See, and I want to be able to just, like, right here and go free play. Or, oh, I guess that's kind of cool, being able to switch over. I like that. See, add one more option with the free play camera as the third. Maybe give us some god abilities, be able to call in the airstrikes that are already in the game. Or even call in units. 
Like, oh, they've got a tiger on the beach? What if we had some Shermans or some Sherman duplex drives that hit the beach? Or those amphibious tanks that we showed off in Ravenfielder that are now in Battlefield 5? Lots of possibilities. But right now, the game's got some promise, but it needs a lot of work, I think. Anyway, Brass Brigade, it just came out yesterday. Let me know if you'd like to see more, what games you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.